no weekly vlog this week as last week I went away with my best friends and I think a 10 minute video of me sitting on the beach and reading my book wouldn't be that enjoyable but it will be back next week but today I'm in my kitchen again and we're going to do another cooking video and this time around I'm going to show you my cookie recipe which I have already shared on my blog a long time ago it's actually one of the most read posts on my blog in the history of the four and a half years of Vivian Does Makeup in fact I think it is the most red post and it's a pretty good cookie recipe if I say so myself. It's definitely naughty but it's delicious and if you're into the whole Ben's cookies, a very gooey in the middle, kind of crispy on the outside thing, very chocolatey, then you will definitely be in the mood for these. I have actually adapted the recipe since the first time that I posted it. I've reduced the sugar in it and I've also reduced the chocolate in it to make it not so ridiculous but still very <laughs> naughty in Indeed, um, but I will pop everything below that you need to know so all the cooking times and measurements of everything and equipment all of that jazz will be down there so you are gonna need 200 grams of unsorted butter 150 grams of caster sugar one large egg 275 grams of self-raising flour, 75 grams of cocoa powder, and then one big bar of chocolate. So these are sort of the big sharing ones that you find in your supermarket. And I've gone for dark chocolate because that's my favorite. And then also a splash of milk. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is pop on your oven to 220 degrees Celsius if it's a fan assisted one, and 200 degrees Celsius if it's not. It's also a good idea to take out two baking trays and line them with baking parchment now, just so you don't have to bother with that later and then just pop them somewhere and give yourself lots of space to get your bowl out and do some mixing. So the first ingredient to go in is butter. I'm feeling all very fancy. I've got mine all ready to go like I'm on Blue Peter or something. Now you can either just soften this at room temperature for a while or if like me you've just got it out of the fridge you're going to want to soften it in the microwave for a bit until it's slightly melted. Then you're going to pop it in a big bowl and then mix in your caster sugar until it's nice and creamy and you can do that either with just a big wooden spoon or you can get your electric mixer out which is the best way really it makes it nice light and fluffy and then you're ready for the next step then you want to crack in your egg and whisk it some more then you want to mix in your dry ingredients so I'm going to pop in the flour the cocoa powder Ooh, smooth and then the chocolate which I've broken down into small pieces and what I do like to do is to take some squares and leave those out and I will show you in a minute what I use them for. So I'm just going to leave those there. Now you could add in more chocolate here, I went for one bar but I used to make it with three bars and I used to use milk, dark and white to make a little triple chocolate cookie or you could add in different flavourings or nuts here or dried fruit, whatever you fancy but I'm just going to stick to a good old dark chocolate one today and then screw the electric mixer because things start to get a little bit messy now. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with a spoon and just try and mix that into a dough. At first you think that it's never going to mix into a dough but it does eventually start to get there and if you need a bit of help just add in a splash of milk. Okay maybe that's a bit more than a splash. Sorry neighbours. So it may look a little bit rank but when it looks a little something like this you're ready for the next step. Sorry, I couldn't work out how to get my face and the trays in the screen at the same time, so apologies for the boob shot. <laughs> but now it's time to dish up the dough into cookies on your tray, and for that I find it easiest to use some kind of measure, just so all of them are around the same size-ish, and this is a quarter cup of measurement, so I just take one, it doesn't have to be too precise, looks a little something like that, about that size, roll it into a ball and then pop it on the tray. Now this recipe makes about 12 cookies, which is dangerous because you are gonna to wanna to eat them all. So sometimes it's nice just to do a half amount and then you've only got six and they're not gonna sit there and tempt you for days on end. <laughs> now they do tend to spread, so you're gonna to wanna to try and place them out as far apart as possible. I tend to do six on each tray, but every now and again I do have a disaster where they just merge into one big cookie. So let's hope this isn't one of those occasions. And then when the extra chocolate squares that I've saved come in is I just like to pop one 
on the top and also kind of pressing the cookies down so they're a little bit flatter for when they go into the oven. Not only does it look very visually pleasing, it also looks really good when it's just come out of the oven and it's all nice and warm and it leaves quite a nice melty centre inside. So these are now ready to go in the oven. Now I put them in for about 10 minutes because I like the centre of them to be super gooey indeed. However, if you like them a little bit firmer in the middle and a little bit crispier, feel free to pop them in for more, but I stick to just the 10 minutes. So in they go. So when they're ready to come out, they're gonna look a little bit wobbly, but don't worry at all. You're also gonna wanna eat them because they smell incredible, but you must wait at least around 30 minutes just for them to firm up a bit and then they're gooey in the middle. So I'm just gonna chill for the next half an hour. You could do the washing up or you could do what I'm gonna do, which is finish off watching RuPaul's Drag Race. Priorities. So these are the finished cookies. I'm gonna give one a go now. I've been waiting half an hour for this moment. Mm. I'm just gonna have another bite. And another one. Just like I said, very gooey in the middle. Just got a nice bit of melted chocolate in there. I do reckon I might have been a bit conservative on the chocolate. I reckon it maybe needed one and a half or even two bars. And I reckon the chocolate peanut butter recipe would be really nice. Maybe with some peanuts in and then a big dollop of peanut butter. I might have to try that next time. But if any of you give these a go, then do send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram. Tag me or maybe, the, oh, should we do a hashtag? Hashtag. Viviana cookies. There you go, that was easy. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Thursday. Bye.